Namaste, dear yogis. This week the theme is around the word ahimsa, the very first ethical principle in our yoga practice. And um, it's all about the basic act of being kind and uh, just being better, not only towards others, but towards ourselves. Uh, Buddhists say that uh, when we face misfortune, two arrows fly. The first one is uh, the event itself. We, can, we cannot do anything about it. It's, it's life. The other one is our reaction. So how we react. Will we cause ourselves more suffering? Um, will we start to feel sorry for ourselves, uh, jealous or angry or so on? But, or will we take the situation and feel humanity and feel compassion, feel kindness. So this is what I would like you to practice. Whenever you start to feel a bit like, ah, then take a deep breath in. Instead of reacting, respond with kindness. Think of what the better version of yourself do in that situation. Good. So let's be kind. Let's get ready for the class today. So uh, sit in a nice, comfortable cross-legged seated position. You can bring your left heel closer to your pelvic floor, your right heel in front. And if you wish to sit on a block uh, or uh, on a bolster, feel free to do that. Especially if you have a tightness in your hips or lower back, this will really help you. Good. So a nice, comfortable cross-legged seated position. You can bring your hands down to your knees, maybe place them on your lap. It's uh, completely up to yours. Sometimes uh, a nice little mudra is in a place, uh, mudra of knowledge, uh, for example, bringing your uh, first finger and thumb together, gently touching. We're going to close our eyes. And we're just going to take a moment to observe our bodies. Observe what you are bringing with you to your mat today. Is the negativity, then just let it go. Is there any expectations? Let them go. Come to your practice and to your mat with an open mind, with a sense of freedom, with no expectations. Observe your body and notice how it's feeling today. Is there any aches? Is there any pains? Is there tension, either physical or mental? Allow a nice deep breathing to occur. Breathing in fully and breathing out completely. Without changing any expressions on your face, feel a smile appearing to your face. With that smile comes a sense of lightness sense of joy.
as I mentioned earlier, bring a, bring a sense of a positive reaction into this glass. When you notice a hard asana yoga pose, take a deep breath and react with humanity, with compassion, with forgiveness. Kindness starts with kindness towards oneself. Before we can spread it into the world around us, we need to be kind towards ourselves. So start now, start in this practice. Be patient with yourself. Be kind. Try to be the best version of yourself. Good. Now let's open up our eyes. Just take your hands down to the sides. Good. Relax your shoulders. Start to take your right ear towards the right shoulder. You can take your left forearm behind the lower back. Relax that left shoulder down. Feel that beautiful stretch. Good. We're going to place that right palm all the way down to the ground. And very slowly reach that left hand over to the left. Turn the palm upwards and start to reach the palm up and over to your right side. Good, lengthen at the same time, root down through that left hip. Good, feel that beautiful stretch through the side. Suddenly the lungs have more space to breathe. Nice, as you inhale, just have a look up. Good, and with your next exhalation, just reach that left hand down over to your right. You can go straight from your knee forward. So slightly over to the front top corner of your mat. Good, and just allow the head to relax. Relax that left hip down, don't allow it to lift up. Good, and from here, walk yourself over to the front of your mat. And just slowly lower down, release the forehead down. Nice, and then walk yourself back up. Bring your hands behind your back. Good, and you can just modify and lift your chest, or if you do want to go more intense, you're going to lift your hips also. Good. And relaxing back down. Nice, let's do the other side. Bring your left heel in front of the right. Hands down to the side and take your left ear towards the left shoulder. I adore neck stretch. It's like giving yourself a nice massage. It's so nice, 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 nice. Good, take your right forearm behind the lower back. Look down to your left and you can place your left palm down. Good, start to lengthen your right arm over to the right, turn the palm up and lengthen over, over, over. Feel that stretch. Breathing deeply, smiling, 
if you wish. Good, look up to the sky. And then slowly bring that left, right hand down over to your left side. And again, lengthen over to the left top corner of your mat. Relax your head, relax the shoulders. Root down through the right side of your hip. Good, and walk yourself over to the front of your mat. Again, taking a bit of a forward fold, releasing the forehead down. Nice, and then just walk yourself back up. Bring your hands behind your back. And again, either just lift your chest or also lift your hips. Good. And lower down. Nice. We're going to swing those legs over to the back and come into our uh, tabletop position. Good. Just tuck that shirt. Nice. And let's get ready for some cats and cows. So wrists underneath your shoulders, knees, hips width apart. Good. Very first, just round the back a bit. Look into your navel and let's start with a cow. Inhaling, lifting your tailbone. Look forward, bring your chest gaze forward. As you exhale, round the back, tuck the tailbone. You can shift the weight slightly forward. Good. Inhaling, coming back to cow pose. And deep exhalation, round your back. Again, like an angry cat, release all that negativity. Inhaling, lift the chest. Visualize yourself filling your heart with positivity. And as you exhale, releasing all the stress and worries and whatever you carry within that doesn't belong there. Inhaling again one last time. Look up. And exhaling round your back. Beautiful. Come back to the tabletop position. Good. Nice straight back. Engage your abdominal muscles. We're going to lengthen the right leg over to the back. Nice. Flex the foot and visualize yourself pressing that foot against invisible wall behind you. Good. Nice strong leg. Now keep your gaze steady on one point. We're going to lift that left hand up. Hold. Good. You can either stay in here or if you do want to challenge yourself with your balance, bend that right knee. With your left hand, grab a hold of your right toes and hold and lengthen. Keep the gaze steady. Breathe. A bit of a back bend. Good. Release the hand down. Lengthen the leg over to the back. As you inhale, look up. Lift the leg up a bit. And as you exhale, we're going to take a step with that right foot outside the right palm. Nice. You can bring the hips a bit further to the front. You can lengthen that left knee a bit more back. Good. Inhale, come up to your fingertips. Lift the chest. Look forward. Open up your heart. Allow those hips to open. Good. Breathe. Nice, you can lower yourself back to your palms and you can just gently shift those hips to the left and right, just opening up a bit of a movement. Feels nice, you know, sometimes just to flow. Good, come back to the center. On your exhalation, look over your right shoulder to the back of your mat. Good, hold for one breath. 
as you inhale, come back to the center. And as you exhale, look over uh, your left shoulder to the back of your mat again. Good, come back. We're gonna tuck those left toes, lift the left knee, bring that left heel down and prepare to come up to your warrior too. So strong legs as you swing those arms up. Good, stack your heart on top of your hips, your knee on top of your ankle. Good, if you need to align those legs a bit better, do that. Good, engage the back leg. You can feel the uh, glutes activating, supporting you. Relax, remember the theme, kindness. So even though this is a powerful pose, Find softness, find peace in this pose. Good, on your next inhalation, peaceful warrior. Turn that right palm up, left hand to the back of your thigh, lengthen the right arm up towards the sky. Nice. And as you exhale, come back to your warrior two. Good. We're going to bring the hands to our heart center. We're going to turn towards the front of the mat. Allow that left heel to rise. You can again adjust yourself. Have those legs uh, hip width apart. As you inhale, reach your arms up. Nice length and you can have the palms separated or palms together. Choice is yours. Good. Exhalation, twist to your right. Take that right hand over to the back, left hand forward. Good. Remember to smile. It's not that bad. It's actually very nice, isn't it? To work on our bodies. We're gonna release that left palm down, right arm up, open up your chest, stack the shoulders on top of each other. Create space in between your reps. Nice, we're gonna lower that left knee down top of the foot down good again stay in your easy twist breathe feel that beautiful massage in those internal organs good we're going to release the right hand down outside that right foot and we're going to take a step back to the table top now few push-ups to make us feel our solar plexus chakra. So just bring those shoulders in front of the wrist, activate the core, exhale, bend the elbows, hug those elbows into your ribs, inhaling, coming up, exhale, push back a bit. Two more times. Good, inhaling, coming back up, shoulders away your wrists, exhaling, your jig push up, inhaling up, Exhaling back. Inhale one last time. Exhale this time slowly, slowly lower yourself all the way down to your belly. Inhale, take a baby cobra. Exhale, release down. Take your right hand down to the right side, palm facing downwards. Lift the left leg and roll yourself over to your right side. You can relax the head down. Hold it there for a moment. Allow the chest to open. Feel the opening also in that left uh, hip flexor. Good. Roll yourself back. I'm a little bit tight with the space. Bring the right hand next to your chest. Left hand down to the side, palm facing downwards. Lift the right leg. Roll over again. Good. Holding in here. Silly me, why am I so close to the wall? Good. Roll back. Nice. Take your hands next to your uh, chest and push yourself back. Coming into your child's pose. Good. Forehead down. If you can, bring your hands next to your body. Or you can also leave your hands underneath your forehead let's continue take your hands over to the front come back onto your 
tabletop position. All of this on the left side. So start by taking your left leg over to the back. Flex your foot. Good. Engage your abs. Keep that left leg nice and strong. Gaze down to one point. Lift your right arm up. Lengthen. Create space. Either stay here or bend your left knee. Take a hook from your left toes and open. Good. Holding in here. Good. Gaze is steady. Nice. Release the hand down. Lengthen that left leg over to the back. As you inhale, lift the leg. Look up. Exhale, step your left foot outside the left palm. Nice. Again, you can walk your hands a little bit further. Bring your hips down. Lift yourself up to your fingertips if you can. Look up. Lift up the chest. Nice. Allow those hips to open. Allow your heart to open and shine with happiness. Breathe deeply, enjoy this moment. How incredibly good does it feel to heal the bodies, minds, souls, heal ourselves. Good, lower back to your palms. And again, just gently swing yourself side to side, creating space. Good. Now, with your next exhalation, look over your left shoulder to the back of your mat. Inhale to the center and exhale, look over to your right side. So, over that right shoulder. Good, come back to the center. Now tuck those right toes, lift the right knee. Place the right heel down. And again, we're gonna swing those arms coming into our warrior two. Again, check the alignments. The heel of the left foot is pretty much in the center of that right foot. Good, shoulders are relaxed. Sometimes it helps to turn the palms up to get a nice alignment in the shoulder blades and then turn the palms back down. Gaze is in our left fingers. Our left knee is on top of the ankle. Tuck the tailbone to create more space in your hips. Nice. Take your right hand to the back of that right thigh. Inhale, left palm up and left arm lifts up. Good. Inhaling, coming back to the center, warrior two. Now straighten your left leg, turn those left toes slightly inwards. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Have a bit of a softness in your knees. Lift the chest. Exhale, fold down. We're going to bring the top of our head towards the earth. Shift the weight slightly more towards the front of the foot. Visualize 60, 40. 40% 40 of the weight is on your heels. Good. Engaging those inner thighs. Visualize internal rotation in the upper thighs. Good. Nice and slow. Inhale, come back up. Keep those fingers interlocked behind the back. This time turning the toes outwards. Good. Bend the right knee right knee good and exhale we're gonna bring the chest down just inside that right knee good go as low as you can inhaling coming back up other side exhale bend the left knee and start to bring the chest down inside that left knee inhaling coming back up beautiful release the hands to your heart center Turn towards the front and again bend the left knee. Good. Lift that right knee, a heel up. Inhaling, reaching your arms up. Nice and long. Good. Take a twist to your left 
left hand towards the back of your mat, right hand towards the front. Release your right palm down. Good, lift that left arm up. Lower your right knee, top of the foot down. Good. Keep breathing. And then exhale, release the hand back down. Take a step onto all fours. A nice low push up this time. So again, bring your shoulders over your wrist, 90 degree angle. Elbows are facing towards the back of your mat and slowly down to our bellies, inhaling cobra, exhaling down. This time push yourself back into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, feet are hips width apart, pedal those heels a bit. Nice deep breath. Long spine, strong arms. Allow the shoulder blades to broaden to the sides. Bring both heels down towards the ground. Bend your knees slightly, inhale, and start to walk yourself towards the front of the mat, coming into your forward fold. Good. As you exhale, allow the crown of the head to come down. Now you have a couple of choices. You can either hug behind your knees, hold on to your ankles, or you can even grab a hold of your opposite elbows. So just hang in here. If you feel like moving, you can swing yourself side to side. Good, release the hands down. We're gonna walk the feet about mat width apart. And we're gonna come down to our yogic squats. So just slowly, slowly start to sit down. Good, bringing your palms together to your heart center. Nice, lift up through the top of your head. Exhale. Tailbone is facing down. Breathe. Good. Now from here, we're gonna come and sit down. So just release the hips down. Bring the soles of your feet together. We're gonna interlock the fingers underneath our toes, coming into your Baddha Konasana. Butterfly pose, exhaling, slowly folding down. Good, just hold here. Breathe deeply. With your inhalation, feeling the lengthening in your spine. With your exhalation, fall down. Good. As you inhale, slowly come back up. Bring your knees together. Take a hold behind the upper thighs and vertebrae by vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly, slowly lower yourself down. If it feels like a nice stretch in the midway, stay for a breath. Otherwise, just come all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock yourself side to side. Let's take our final stretch here on the floor. 
Good. Keep that right knee against your chest. We're going to bring that left foot down. So a modification. Keep the left knee bent. More advanced. Lengthen that left leg. Good. Hold and breathe. Good. On your next exhalation, lengthen your right leg up. Nice. Hold it there. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Again, smile a little bit. Hamstring stretch isn't always something that makes us smile a lot, but you know, a little smile makes the brain think that we are having so much fun. Good. Now bend that right knee again. With your left hand, we're going to take ourselves into a spinal twist. So take your right hand down to the right side and slowly exhale as you start to bring that right knee over to your left side. Your gaze turns over to your right. Hold for a moment. Breathe. Most of the time I recommend to keep the eyes closed as much as possible. Turn that gaze inwards and really feel the pose in your body. Feel the pose in your mind. It's a very cleansing pose, so visualize yourself being cleansed from all the negativity. Thoughts. Patterns whatever there is that needs to be cleansed away let this pose just really you know squeeze everything out good come back to the center and again just hug both of your knees into your chest gently rock yourself side to side Good, and go over to your left side this time again. You can either keep that uh, right foot down, knee bent, or you can stretch the right leg out. Good, just hold for a moment. Again, make sure that the shoulders doesn't jump up to your ears, but they're nice and relaxed. Relax your face, your jaw. On your exhalation, start to lengthen your left leg up. Good. Hold it there. You can either interlock your fingers behind the upper thigh, your calf, your ankle, wherever you feel that works for you. Remember, this is your practice. You're going to do exactly what your body wants you to do today. And if you feel discomfort, remember that reaction. Don't react, uh, react by, you know, getting uh, all judgy and uh, criticizing yourself, but instead go with forgiveness, go with compassion, gentleness. Good. Bend that left knee. With the hand of uh, right hand, you're gonna take that left knee over to your right side. Take that left hand over to the left and look over to the left as you come into your spinal twist. Good. Go just as far as it feels good for your lower back and also keep the shoulders on the floor. Notice the lower back can feel very different from day to day. So some days it's really tight some days it's really nice exactly
Good. And let's come back to that center. One more time, hug those knees into your chest. Gently rock yourself. Good. Just lift your arms and legs up and circle your ankles, your wrists. Get some openness into those joints. Beautiful. And then let's bring those feet down. Just lift the hips and shift that tailbone back down to get more length into that lower back. And then lengthen those legs up and prepare yourself for the final pose, Shavasana. Adjust your shoulder blades, turn your palms up towards the sky to be open to all the beauty of the universe. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nostrils and exhale through your mouth. Repeat for a couple of times or as many times as you need to really get rid of that tension, to really allow yourself to sink into that mat and trust that the earth will carry you. Feel the wave of relaxation washing over you. Relaxing your face, your shoulders, chest and back and your belly, your hips, arms and legs. Physically you're relaxing. Your thoughts are becoming calmer. Your mind is relaxing. Just enjoy this few minutes. Allow yourself to be charged with healing energy, with positive energy. Calming.
Now before you open your eyes or you move yourself, just take a moment, a bit of a mindful moment, and think about the last time where you faced misfortune. Either it was just a small thing, maybe somebody jumped the queue in a shop, so uh, you know didn't say hello to you. Whatever tiny bit of a or maybe a massive misfortune, how was your reaction that time? And if you give yourself a moment to really breathe in deeply then and tap into that divine self, that better version of yourself, how would have that version of yourself reacted to this situation, to this event? I know we cannot go back in time, but next time when a situation like this occurs, you can uh, remember either you want to bring negativity or suffering or um, anything uh, and bad energy into your life. You can do as you did before, or if you do really want to practice humanity and compassion, maybe you react differently next time. This is my daily practice with myself. It is, as I mentioned earlier, it is a difficult practice, but it's something that we need to do to become better human beings. Now start to move your fingers, your toes and your head side to side. Bring your feet together, lengthen your arms above your head. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, turn to your right side. Why do I always yawn in that place? Good. It's because I'm so relaxed and happy. Keep your eyes still closed, but slowly, slowly make your way up to your cross-legged seated position. Bring your hands to your heart center. Rub your palms together, creating heat, the heat of prana, life force, and then cover your closed eyes with your warm palms. In the darkness of your palms, open up your eyes and take your hands back to your heart center. Namaste. Thank you so very much for practicing with me and uh, taking this time to learn about Ahimsa, the act of being kind, non-violence. So, uh, Yes, let me know what you thought about this class and uh, what would you like to do more of uh, the famous final words always and like the video if you did like it and um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very very grateful, you know, I'm, I love that I get to share my passion with you and um, yes, yeah, so have the most wonderful day. Thank you, bye.